It's been a while since we used the Acto Robotics Kit and started building on it again. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and put a temporary power source on it. Now, the temporary power source is going to let us get on to programming. It's easy to do. In a later episode, we'll add a single rechargeable battery, some voltage regulation so we can control both the motor controller as well as the Arduino with the same power source, and we'll be able to recharge it. So this is what it looks like, how far I've gotten it done, and now I'll show you how I did it. Let's get going. I'm stripping two wires on the AA battery holders. I'm using two of them and wiring them in series since I didn't have a single four battery holder. I'm going to go, go ahead and place heat shrink over one side of it. You have to do this before you solder them together. Using four AA batteries and two different battery holders. I'm going to have to hook them in series. To do this, you connect the positive of one battery pack to the negative of another. This will allow you to combine the voltage of each battery. It was time to solder them. I simply used a cheap soldering iron I got in a How to Learn to Solder kit and went ahead and soldered it together. Next, I pulled the heat shrink up and over the solder joint. Setting aside, I used a heat gun to go ahead and shrink that onto the wires. If you don't have a heat gun, you can use a lighter or, in many cases, just a hair dryer. Battery compartments linked together, it was time to land the wires on the motor control board or the motor shield for Arduino. This is done just simply by determining blocks. Now your shields may vary as to where they land, so I'm not going to tell you exactly where. Refer to your uh, owner's manual on the uh, board, and that will tell you where to land the wires. To do this, I did the negative and positive, just like you see here. Next, I went ahead and added carpet tape to the back of both battery holders as well as a 9 volt battery. The battery holders will power the motor shield, the 9 volt battery will power the Arduino. This is just temporary, so I'm not going to go hog wild with it. Here I'm lining the motor wi wires to the motor shield. This will allow us to give power to the motors from the motor shield. Once again, this is a case where your shields may vary, so I'll let you determine that by reading the manual. I simply connected the negative to the negative for the ground and the positive to the positive terminal. I went ahead and did this for all the motors. A bit of advice here. You want to make sure that your negative and, po and positive wires are the ones for each individual motor, I, which is what I did here. If you crosswire them, it won't work at all. Here I'm just going to go ahead and mount the battery packs. This is relatively simple. You just remove the, the backing from the double-sided tape and mount them to the chassis where they'll fit best. Here they are all mounted to the chassis in a relatively easy position. I'm going to load in the AA batteries and see if we can't power it up.
With the LED lid on the motor shield saying I had good power, I went ahead and pl plugged in the Arduino using the 9 volt battery adapter. As you can see from here, one of the wheels started to move. That's because I have a small program loaded on here. That gives me an idea that at least the electrical wiring is solid and ready to go. Here I am just disconnecting it and shutting it down for storage. This was temporary. I just used the parts I had around the house that weren't going to cost a lot of money. A voltage regulator and a power supply will be needed later. The important part is to figure out exactly what form this is going to take. We may be adding other sensor and modules to this and other things where power requirements may vary. And we may be using step down volt regulators as well as step up regulators or changing our battery altogether. So a temporary power supply is a good place to begin if you don't know where you're going. Okay, so that completes it for this step. I'm going to call it 1.5.